everyone, face of here. Welcome back. There's more Ace and Terry. I don't know why the, but the, uh, it's going through the correct audio channel for the first time out of what, the three, four days we played. However, my computer has black screened twice today, three times. That's a lie. So don't know what's going on. Oh, and I was just about to say, my heart rate monitor isn't working. Oh, at least it's connected now. <laughs> Connecting, no information. Okay, let's, let's let it. Battery, 100%. That's, that's a lie. It's been at 10%, at least earlier in the week. So maybe, I don't know. It, if it's not one thing, it's, it's another, right? Constant. Um, speaking of one thing or another, uh, I was supposed to go to the office today, but my car wouldn't start. That's cool. Completely dead battery again. Um, so don't know what's going on there. Uh, fortunately, that dude, that that portable like jump pack, well worth the money. Saved my ass twice. Um, although. I didn't know about the overdrive functionality, so that actually jumped my battery. Boom! Immediately, I was ready to start. So, I think uh, I might have a bad battery because it's six months old. Six months old. So, uh, I'll be taking it in when I go into the office tomorrow. I'll make a stop at Toyota on the way home and have them look at it. It has been a month, my dudes. And it's only February of this year. Ugh. Anyways, I'm stinking excited. Let's play some more Ace Attorney. I don't want to hear about my my woes. Uh, let's see. Uh, buttons, please work. Please work. There it goes. All right. Where'd we leave off? Uh, this one. I, I should probably overload. First one. Oh, right. We left off by us dying. Uh, we pressed them on all these, right? Something not enough time to commit a murder. That's only enough time to eat a table on steak, if you ask me. Steams. I have to say, you look like a guy who gets through meals pretty fast. I was facing a cold, slightly chewy T-bone steak. Even I have to take my time eating that kind of food, lol. Well, Phoenix. Are we? Well, Phoenix! The testimony was too short to bring any kind of useful information out of. All you have to do is prove that... Uh, All you have to do is prove that he was able to go to Studio One in that time. Oh, great. Is that all? Uh... Ah, uh, for what it's worth, we took a break. Lawful. Oops. It was only 15 minutes. I need to go back. There you go. What time exactly did you take the break? Uh, I'd say it was from around 2.30 to around 2.45. 30 That's the time of death. So he could have gone to the studio and killed Hammer and came back. I guess it's possible time-wise. But that's what we need to figure out. <gasps> Excuse me. What do you want, Edgeworth? You didn't like that. But it's only 15 minutes. 15! That's only 13 in baseball. What were you doing for those 15 minutes? Eating my T-Bob steak. What else? There were two plates on that table. All oh, right, the other one was Divas. Sorry, D. Vasquez's plate. D. Vasquez, the producer. We did T-Bone steak in 15 minutes. That's quite a feat. Not enough time for someone to commit a murder in Studio One's lol. Why is that? Objection. Haven't we had enough of this pointless line of questioning? Your Honor, the testimony to this point has made one certain fact painfully clear. The people in the trailer had nothing to do with this murder. It was impossible for any of them to go to Studio One. What? Something wrong, Mr. Wright? This is where he points out the monkey head, right? Surely you aren't suggesting that one of the people in the trailer went to Studio One. Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright, there's his voice. It came out today. I think that was right anyway. Phoenix, this is critical. Think about it before you give your answer. 
Did you claim someone from the trailer went to Studio One? Uh... Fuck! That's what got us killed. Don't want to write off so many possible suspects, but I can't keep claiming the impossible either. I agree that it was impossible for anyone in the trailer to go to the studio in that time. Aha! I thought you might be thoughtlessly treading on thin ice again. But I see you had at least an inkling of the truth. What do you mean, Edgeworth? It's quite simple. True, the break-in in the trailer meeting came right at the time of death. However, the path from here to the scene of the crime was blocked. I almost said the scent. The fallen Miss Monkey head barred the way. <clears throat> yeah, okay, so we saw this yesterday. Mr. Monkey, yeah. And somehow I feel no desire to correct him. I don't remember that part. I believe we have seen enough evidence. I would like to relieve Mr. Manuela, Manella from the stand. What? It's over? Oh, he's got long hair. Very well. The court's opinion on this case is as follows. We have found that there were several other people in Studio 2 on the day of the murder. However, it is also clear that none of these people could have gone to Studio 1. They therefore have no relation to this case. Furthermore, with regards to the photo of the Steel Samurai, given the size of the co- Oh shit, is it gonna get guilty again? Isn't the size of the costume no one other than Mr. Powers could have worn it that day? All that is lacking is decisive evidence that he is the one who did it. If we had that, I'm afraid I would have to find Mr. Powers guilty. Oh, shit. This one him chose not to find him guilty? Okay. Your Honor, the prosecution is pleased to announce that we indeed have decisive evidence. A witness. This is a kid, right? Who is this witness, Mr. Edward? I witnessed Saw at the very moment. Okay, this is the kid. Let's just catch up quickly to where we were. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I hope I'm not skipping something. I don't think we are. What do we do now, Mia? If everyone in that trailer has an alibi. I'm sorry, Phoenix. I guess I was wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, she says wrong. She never gives up. He's all upset. Go away, bug. Go away, bug. Yeah, you... You're a role model for the kids. This one's for the kids. Let's do it. And I didn't realize it was so far behind on the, the saves. Let's catch back up, shall we? He's out of my face, bug. Gordy's Gord back in session for the trial of Mr. Powers. The prosecution has a concern. Oh yeah, there's a kid, he's an elementary school kid, and he brings a... he needs a stool. <laughs> um, he also brings a camera. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Cortanis, what did you do? Also, I didn't hear it. Oh, there, it's activated now. Oh boy, that is a nightmare. Panda bus has... Panda bus has... Look at the if you heard it. Day one, the boy, bad day. Early stream in beta, but... Automod. Yeah, the cookie time. Yeah, the cookie time. Ow! You shocked me. The go cookie. How you doing, space? I missed your face. Oh. This is cursed but adorable at the same time. What? The Jada Pats? Never cursed. What's wrong with you? 
Oh, I sound like a little girl on old landline phone. Okay, that's funny. Kira, did you not get a stream notification again? What the heck, Twitch? What the heck, Twitch? You didn't miss much. We're, we're literally catching back up on where uh, we ended last night. So we're like skipping through. Welcome back. <gasps> Your steadfast oh, loyalty is months. greatly appreciated. Hi, dude. Far, uh, far off. Get the cookie. Also, Kira, if you uh, are comfortable with it, shoot me an address so I can send you uh, your 12 month sub badge. Sub badge? I, I guess, maybe? They're, they're kind of, they're, they're a little laser cutout thing. Get the cookie. Oh, it's a big cookie. Come get it. Come get it. Oh, there you go. Make an effort. Her old bones are getting old, dudes. She's a. Uh, He's having a harder and harder time moving. Oh, crap. Oh, hold on. All right. Uh, I sold my first uh, earplugs. Earplugs. Um, gauges for ears on Etsy. Neat. Gotta ship those out tomorrow. Thank God, because if they were dice, I was gonna have to spend some time sanding those down and whatnot. Hey, buddy, what are you talking about? Here's been here. Also, I didn't eat today, so I'm sorry. I'm trying to. Throw some ramen in my stomach. I was eating it before stream started, but it was still hot. So it was uh, difficult to eat. All right, the kid's here. Yep, 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 All right, here's where we left off, right? I think we, we interrogated him. Or interviewed him. I suppose that's a better word. Uh, yeah. All right. Let me see. There we go. I think we are catching back up. Um, yeah, we saw that one. I found a map. We saw that one. He got lost. Of course, the seal samurai took him out. If I had my camera. If you had your camera, you mean you weren't carrying your camera then? N no, I wasn't. It's not like I have it all the time. Really? I guess seeing the killing freaked him out and he went home. Phoenix, remember he's a child. Uh, yeah, but he witnessed a murder. Your gentle words, but be firm. Easy for you to say. It's so weird that she gains two feet in height. Uh... This is the part where we got stuck, uh, yesterday. Okay. Can I... Maybe... Objection. Shit. I'm missing something, dudes. Fuck. I, dude, I, I tried to do other things and it said no.
off the path. Yeah, you, yeah, you know how the studio are in the valley there? If you go off the path a little, there's, there's the woods. That's where I was. I see. Anyhow. Fuck. In case the game didn't make it obvious, her physical appearance did actually change. And it isn't just an art choice. Characters are aware of physical change. Really? She gains two feet and then shrinks two feet. That's funny that they're aware of it. Did nothing unusual happen on your way to the studio? Unusual? Did you see this monkey by any chance? Oh, you mean Mr. Monkey? Yeah, I saw him. But his head wasn't busted. So you went straight to the studio? Fuck! Dude, I have no idea what to do here. I got nothing. Maybe this. Fuck! Alright, fuck it. We're just choosing them all. Something gonna be... Not obvious or completely obvious and I'm a dumb. Fuck! It's impossible. Alright, reload. No. Reload. I think I know the solution. I just pieced it together. It's been in long enough. I have to refigure it out. Really? It would have nothing to do with this. Yeah. It's like... What, in my brain... He's showing evidence that someone could have used that secret path. But nothing I present presents that as an option. And it's really obnoxious. Read the details of Mr. Monkey. I tried using the Mr. Monkey and it still didn't work. Yeah, I tried using this and it still says nothing. Watch. I have nothing, dude. Fine, this one. Oh my fucking god! There's nothing! Shut up. I need... No, I need... Trying to load. The time the clock when it stopped contradicts the... Yeah, but I can't do anything. Does it have to be on exactly the one like this? Does it have to be on the exact one? Because I tried using that, the monkey, when he used a different path and stuff. Still doesn't work. I'm so lost. Yeah, the evidence has to be presented the right testimony. Okay, so it does have to be on the right one. Fuck! <sighs> oh, wait, hold on. You've seen it before. Damn it! This is obnoxious. I want to see the you know, samurai. I found a map on the internet. You've seen it before. Oh my god. Reload! Found the map. Went through the woods. I 
Dude, I am fucking lost on this bit. Nothing, some, something's not gelling. Oops. I was going for the studio. I got kind of lost in the way. For about 30 minutes. Maybe this one? Fuck! Dude! This is obnoxious. Like, I'm trying to... Because, like, I know his timeline doesn't match up. And I'm showing him all the timeline things. And none of it's working. If I had him... Wait, no way it's this. I'm this close to looking this this one part up because it's obnoxious. Cause it doesn't it none it, it's gonna be something dumb. Like it's gonna be Oops. I didn't mean to push that. Alright, skip through this, skip through this, skip through this. It's gonna be like... It'd be like, I... You chose the right thing, but it's be... It has to be between this one, or this one, or this one, or this one. Because they mentioned slight time stuff. Ooh. Have you pressed all the statements? Yeah. Yeah, I, I've interrogated him through all the statements. Load. You see it? What is it? Because I'm losing my mind. Time of days? Yeah. Time of death? Dragon. Oh, wait. I already presented this one, but I didn't present it at the time. Oops. I don't think I presented it at the time. That was... I showed him that picture when I was just trying to do it from the beginning. It's the last statement? Oh shit. This is the last one. Oh. I tried this one too. Well, maybe. Have you played this space? Um I I tried presenting both of these. And it's still not right. I swear to you, I did that. I swear to you, I did that. Oh, I'm upset. I swear I did that. Cody, what you said seems, well, a little strange. Didn't you say before that you always bring your digital camera wherever you go? You were quite clear about that. Huh? I swear to you, I did that. Cody, you shouldn't lie here. You understand that, right? Mr. Ray, a word with you. Uh-oh. I was putting the, the pressure on that much? What is this digital camera contraption you're talking about? Oh boy. It's, um, a digital camera, Your Honor. It's kind of a new sort of camera. How do I explain that? I see. Anyway, Cody. I can't believe you wouldn't bring your camera on a trip to the studios. You did bring it, didn't you? Um. Stop you! Mr. Wright. Oh, wait, wrong voice. Mr. Wright, how cruel you are to terrorize a poor child, so... You look like someone that would not give a two-second pause to grill a child on the stand. I don't care if he is a child or a prosecuting attorney. No one should lie in court, especially in a murder trial. What do you mean, or a prosecuting attorney? Well, I'm gonna grill you later, sir. Just you wait. You like brats or burgers? Well, Cody... What? Yeah. So I had my camera. So what? Got a problem with that? I'm, I'm getting his voice mixed up with his, uh... The creepy dudes. So you did have a camera. 
And did you use this camera? But why, why, why would I use it? Because you take pictures of everything. I, I was too busy watching. That's not what your journal says. Hmm. Very well. Please testify to the court about what you were so busy watching. Okay. Yeah, I had my camera with me. But I was close to the action. I couldn't take my eyes off it. I still summer, he goes for the bad guy. Wham! Then... And the bad guy stopped moving. He's so strong, the seal samurai rules. This kid's involved. Hmm? Ah, is that all? Did you fall asleep? You can't fall asleep. Well, that was brief. Like the things in my pants. Uh, Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Alright. You... I had my camera with me. Oops, wait. No. Uh, oh, cool. Well, let me go back. Press! Why didn't you use it? Stop it! He's getting to that. <laughs> Relax and listen. Um, I didn't use it because it was too busy watching the real thing. I can take my eyes off it. So you're watching the Steel Samurai. Did you watch the whole fight? Yeah, of course. You didn't turn away, not even once? No. Okay then, tell us exactly what happened. Yeah, I'm getting to that. He goes for the bad guy. Wham! Spears don't make a wham noise. So the bad guy attacked him first? Yeah. What sort of person was this bad guy? I told you, a person. It was a person. Thanks, that's helpful. How was he dressed? I kind of don't remember. I was too busy watching the Steel Samurai. I see. And what happened next? Then, then the bad guy stopped moving. Why? Huh? What do you mean, why? Why wasn't the bad guy moving? Well, oh, because oh, the Steel Samurai brought him to justice. And how exactly did he do that? How, how did he do it? The Samurai kick! The Samurai punch! Samurai chop! Samurai slap! Something. Something like that. Still being vague about this. What? Don't give me that look, Pops. Pops? How should I play this? Press him harder. Cody. You're lying. What? Something's bothering me. I have a wedgie. Before you said that you couldn't take your eyes off the action. Yeah. So what? Then how do you not right remember what he wears? Yet you missed the most important part. Damn it. What is the meaning of this? The witness has stated that he saw quite clearly. Objection. Object to your objections, sir. You know as well as I do that he's being vague. Ooh! It's over 9,000. Did I fix that one yet? I don't think I fixed that one yet. Fuck. Tell me, what kind of murderer uses a samurai slap? <clears throat> My point is this, Cody, you may have seen some of the Steel Samurai's fight, but you missed the most important part, the killing blow. Order, order, Mr. Wright, how could this be? Can you explain how he might have missed something so vital? He would know about the spear. Um, well, yeah, that's the thing. Phoenix, I believe you're on the right track with this, I think. Why didn't Cody see the climax of the fight? Ooh, climax. I know you, you can figure this out. Mr. Wright, your answers. You have ascertained that this young boy is a great fan of the Steel Samurai. Why wouldn't he watch the climax of the fight? He was watching something else. Couldn't watch it. Show evidence. Your Honor, I have evidence. I hope so. Evidence? Yes, Your Honor. Why did Cody look away from the fight. Because it's like he saw the actual Steel Samurai walking by. Fuck. It's my proof. Um, uh, can I do that again? <laughs> this doesn't prove anything. Uh, lost your nerve, have you? Very well, I ask you the question again. 
Have you ascertained that the young boy is a great fan of the Steel Samurai? Why wouldn't he watch the climax of the fight? Because he catalogs everything. This, right? Every victory scene, yeah. Here's my proof. What? How is that not proof? Bullshit! How is that not proof? That's bull. That's that's big baloney. That's big baloney. Why couldn't he watch it? Because the time was wrong. Because he couldn't watch it. How can he calmly watch a murder taking place at his age? Or that. Just a moment, please. One thing has become quite clear is this boy's testimony. He did not believe he was witnessing a murder. He was watching the Steel Samurai fight, like on TV. The more real the fight, the more he would have watched. Ah, uh, fuck! You lie! You have another explanation? You have a... He's watching something else. I have no idea what he could be watching. He was climbing to the fight because he was looking at something else. Probably. That's bullshit. Oh, probably. Something else. Mr. Wright, explain yourself. What could possibly distract this boy from seeing his idol? The Steel Samurai fight. What do you claim he was looking at? Ah. Uh, Come on, think of something, think of something, something. Mr. Wright, please refrain from making baseless claim. Yes, sorry, Your Honor. Fuck! All right, it was evidence. How? How is this not evidence? I mean, it could be this one. I guess because that one shows the time, right? Fuck! Oh! This one is painful. At least it's not getting angry at me. Dude, this is just literally just me going down the thing because nothing's like lining up properly. If it's a sleeping pills, I'm going to lose my mu- oops. Wait, that one was a bloom. Was that a good thing? That means it's a right answer, right? Oh my god! Nothing makes sense. Better not be the fucking sleeping pills. That makes no sense. Dude! None of it makes sense! Oh my god. There's nothing here. Here's my proof. What's that? What's that? A camera? The witness stated that he recently received his camera. Yes, I'm aware of that. He wasn't entirely familiar with its operation. I'm aware of that too. Don't tell me he was fiddling with it. That is not enough time to look away. Ah, correct. Why would Cody be looking somewhere else at the critical moment? Because he's looking at his camera. Ugh, that was obnoxious. 
He's trying to take a picture. Hey! Bullseye. What's your problem, Pop? I think like we're picking on the little kids. Trusting, not picking. Good job, Phoenix. But he was lying clearly. Part of you realized there was no way he could have just stand there watching his hero. Did not take a picture. Right. All right. Cody, there's only one reason why you would have looked away from the fight. And that was because you wanted to take a picture. That's why I was trying to present his journal. Because he wanted to take a picture. But having just received your camera, you weren't used to using it. So you missed the climax of the fight, correct? Hmm. I like the adding explanations for the facial expressions. Am I? Wait, what am I doing? Well, Phoenix, I'll bet you're doing anything. He's hiding more than that. Have him testify again. Right. Yeah, it means business. Donna, the defense would like to request that Cody Hackins testify once more. Very well, Cody. Could you please tell us about your camera and about why you didn't take a picture of the fight? Um. Welcome to the real world, kid. Oh, he's all sad now. <laughs> sad. Yeah. You're right, Pops. Still, Samurai had just escaped from the clutches of the villain. I held up my camera to take a picture. The lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. But that's all that happened. Yep. Really? Hmm. Anything strange in that testimony, Mr. Wright? I'm not sure. Let's hear it again. But I'd like to proceed with the cross-examination anyway. Uh... Okay, what do you got? Don't call me Pops. <laughs> Pop? Yeah, I called you Pops, you spiky-haired geezer. Geezer? I'm Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> and I'm not the bearded gentleman. <laughs> That's funny. That's what I hate about grown-ups. You're all so self-conscious. Okay, off of the kid gloves. Testify, witness. Testify. Hi. That was funny. Steel Samurai. Uh, the Steel Samurai had just escaped from the clutches of the villain. So you did see the beginning of the fight. Yeah. Did you notice anything unusual? I already asked that before. Uh, 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 I guess the Steel Samurai is moving a little strange. Moving strangely. Okay, that's gonna be the the limping photo. I held up my camera to take a picture. Why can't you take a picture? My new camera has too many buttons. I couldn't figure it out. I tried to take a picture. I really tried. But the lens went open. When the lens opened, what did you see? Uh, well, a person on the ground and the steel samurai. That's all that happened. That's all? Y yeah, I told you I didn't take a picture. Hmm. I would have. Once I got the lens open. Did he really not take a picture? Not even one? Well, I'm gonna press him. Nah. He definitely would have taken a picture. There's gotta be something here I can use. Cody. Listen up, Cody Hackins. I know exactly what happened that day. You took a picture! That the fight sound noises get me. Bullseye? Question mark? Uh, how did you know? Because you just said that? I see through all your lies, Cody Hackins. It's one of my powers. Wow. This feels great. I'm bullying a child. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I took a picture. Perhaps you can change your testimony to reflect this, Cody's fucking... I took a few shots, but it was too late, so I erased them. You erased them? Digital camera. Yeah. Why would you erase a picture of your beloved Seal Samurai Victorious? Well, uh, you know, why would I want to keep a picture like that? Because you catalog everything? Hmm. He's becoming less and less cooperative. Better find a clear contradiction soon. Or some solid evidence. I'm gonna pick holes in a short in such a short testimony. There has to be something. 
Pick up the dirt, Phoenix. Find out what this kid's all about. I got it. So I erased him. Lies. Lies. Aha! Worked. Cody. Ooh, what? Man, every time you say Cody, you follow with something bad. I wanted to thank you for giving me this the other day. Huh? Well, all right. What was it that you told me then? I go to every live performance. I always take a picture when the Steel Samurai lands a final blow. With them! I got them all! I never missed one. A perfect collection. So, I don't think that could be... Hearsay can't be used in evidence. Especially if I'm the freaking... Attorney, right? Cody, did you really get a picture of the Steel Samurai standing victorious over his foe? If you did, I find it hard to believe that you would just erase it. Wouldn't you keep it for your album? No, not if I had. Oh, no, he said he could make a copy, right? Uh. Mr. Wright, what exactly is this album? It's called Path to Glory. It's a collection of pictures the Steel Samurai, all taken by Cody Hackins. He claims it's the perfect collection of every battle the Steel Samurai has won. Great. I see. Don't you find this very odd, Your Honor? Among all his pictures of Steel Samurai, none were taken that day. Murder. Mr. Ray, have you an explanation? If the Steel Samurai has just defeated his adversary, I certainly would expect to see a picture of it in his album. Exactly my point, Your Honor. I guess. Shit. No, wait. No way. Phoenix? I think we finally discovered the truth. And what a truth it is. N Nia, are we sure about this? Did he actually? The kid didn't do it. Yes. I'm pretty sure what you're thinking is right. Tell them, Phoenix. Tell them what the truth is. Is he going to say the kid killed him? It's going to give me an option. Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what is going on here. Why was there no picture in the album for the day of the murder? Why would the boy have erased the photos he took? Photos were blurry. Erased them by mistake. The Steel Samurai didn't win. Ooh, that's even more nefarious. I can think of only one reason, Your Honor. The Steel Samurai didn't win. That's why Cody, Cody defeated the, the well. Deleted those photos. <gasps> He's a Steel Samurai fan. You mean the Sam Steel Samurai lost? Well, Cody, I'm right, aren't I? Tell the truth. The bad guy defeated the Steel Samurai. No way! No! This is impossible! The Steel Samurai never loses! He never loses anyone! Ever! Your Honor, the witness has revealed everything with his words. There was a reason why he lied and told us he didn't take a picture. The same reason he erased his precious photos. For Kodo, it was inconceivable that the Steel Samurai could be defeated. However, Cody witnessed the impossible. He saw the Steel Samurai lose. And to admit, what he saw would destroy everything he believed in. That's why he lied and said the Steel Samurai won. Couldn't handle the truth. <laughs> Perfect. Order! I will have order. Witness, I, I mean, Cody, is this true? What did you see? Tell the court what you saw. I... don't... want ah, I was right. <laughs> Start crying. Aw, oh, poor kid. <laughs> Fucking Mortal Kombat music, dude. Also, it looks like the, the audio is delayed again. Is it is it too fast or is it too slow? It looks like the camera's delayed, not the audio. Uh, why? New problems. Cody, that day you saw the Steel Samurai lose a fight, right? Ah, okay, okay. You're right. The Steel Samurai, he fell down. Then he didn't move. Ah! 
Order, order, order. You actually don't notice a delay? Cool. Maybe it's just a delay in OBS. I'll have to look at it. I'm, I'm all like freaking paranoid ever since we saw it start happening. What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, right? I'm trying to pull something of yours, that's sure true. The Steel Samurai was the murderer, not the victim. Did someone switch the bodies? And according to your witness testimony, the Steel Samurai was the one who fell. Mr. Wright, what's going on? Apparently, we have all made a serious error. An error? You can shove that finger right up your bum. What's this all about? Hammer was the victim. Steel Samurai was the victim. There was no victim. Shit. I'm getting this mixed up in my brain. But power is the steel samurai. Oh, okay. So I think I know. So. Someone started a fight. The wrong person got killed. And so they put the uh the body in the the villain, I think. If you understand what really happened, it's actually quite simple. At the end of the fight, the Steel Samurai fell to the ground and lay still. In other words, the Steel Samurai was not the killer but the victim. Don't you see? Jack Hammer was the Steel Samurai. didn't give me the the silence so i don't know if it was right order 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 so the steel samurai in this photograph you're saying the man in this costume was the victim jack hammer that's what i'm saying your honor oh was someone trying to kill powers jack hammer was present at the action scene run through that morning thus he obviously knew about will powers foot injury good wait had mr hammer gone to studio one already that's what everyone thought. But remember what Miss Oldbag said in her testimony? On that day, the murder arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Did I see poor old Hammer? Nope. He'd already gone to the studio before I got back to the guard station. Sir Jack Hammer left the employee er left the employee area after lunch. However, no one saw him going to Studio One, nor was there a picture of him. He waited for Mr. Powers to take a nap in the dressing room. Then he snuck into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume. Oh, he's trying to frame him. Why would the victim do such a thing? I don't know. I get it. Oh, I get it. I thought that the Steel Samurai was moving strange. There was a different person inside the suit. Pops. Huh? Me? What? Actually, there was one piece of data I saved. Data? Yeah, photo on my digital camera. What? Let's everyone slap the desk. I hope the judge slaps the desk one time. Show us. Quickly. Oh, hey, man. Not if you're going to look at me like that. No. Oh, God. No. <laughs> yeah, this is it. Okay. So that's the gate. Well, looking at this, it's still a little hard to say. I'm afraid that it could be anywhere in that costume. Your opinion, Mr. Wright? I agree, Your Honor. This isn't decisive evidence. I'm sorry, this doesn't look like it's the proof we need. I'll give it back. I want it! Wait, Phoenix! Yeah, what? Look at that photo once more! That's it, Phoenix! That photo is all the evidence you need to win this trial. What? Your Honor. My co-counsel says we need that for evidence to win this trial. I need to see that photo once more, please. 
Certainly. I do see why not. Phoenix, show him! There's a glaring decisive inconsistency with the facts as we know them in that photo. Find the inconsistencies in the photo. Ah, shit. Uh. His hand. I think it's here! You seem to be lacking even more confidence than usual. I suppose that's because I'm not confident about that at all. Maybe you want to rethink your case, Mr. Wright? Yes, please, Your Honor. Okay, it's not hurting me. Um, it looks like he's on the wrong side of the gate. Look at this. I see a gate. I draw your attention to the number on the gate. Yeah, I was right. The number? Ah, uh, yes. Oh, ah, uh, yes. It's hard to see, but it looks like a two. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Clearly not a one. Oh, <laughs> clearly not a one, but a two. Clearly not a one, Your Honor. Correct? <laughs> I believe Mr. Edgeworth sees sees what I'm getting at. But that's impossible. Eh? Eh? What's this all about? I am completely clueless. How did I get to be a judge? Please explain so that I might be shocked <laughs> along with the rest of the court. I'll use the studio guide man. The body was found here in Studio One. However, what do we see in this photo taken at the time of the murder? It does not say one on that gate in the photo. Your Honor. Here's the true scene of the crime. Tell the judge where the murder took place. Right here! Here! At Studio 2. I see. That would explain the two on the gate in the photo. Your Honor, I find it very significant that the murder took place in Studio 2. The trailer is there! Right? As you may recall, there is a trailer in Studio 2. Now on that day, a meeting was held in that very trailer. There was a break in the meeting corresponding to the time of death. During that break, Mr. Salmonella and Mrs. D. Vasquez were outside eating steak. They were at the scene of the crime. The path to the trailer was blocked. So we, so we have heard. The path was blocked at 2.15. In other words, the victim went to Studio 2 before that time. Yes, I suppose that would be the case. Remember Mr. Salmonella's testimony? Allow me to remind the court. He said no one in the trailer was guilty because they could have not gone to Studio 1. Yet no actuality, the reverse was true. Only someone in the trailer could have committed this murder. Bam, bitch! They were the only ones with access to the scene of this crime. Studio 2! Order! 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 The defense makes the following claims. The scene of the crime was at Studio 2. The person that the security... that the security guard, Miss Olbag, saw was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer. Mr. Hammer, for some reason, stole a steel samurai costume. And he went to Studio 2. This is madness. No. This is Sparta. Jack Hammer is the victim. The victim. Why would he steal a steel samurai costume? Let me slap my table again. Are you suggesting he did so to cover up the details of his own murder? Well, no, of course not. What do you have proof? Give me proof that the victim Jack Hammer stole the costume. I have proof. I have proof. Y you do? You do, Mr. Wright? I do not. Now that they're so surprised, suddenly I'm much less confident. I think I'm right, though. Here's my proof that the jackhammer stole the costume. I have none of that said proof. Maybe this one. Because he was asleep. This is it. 
An empty medicine bottle? An empty medicine bottle? I found this at the table of the employee area. Oh, the music didn't cut out. I thought I was wrong. The same table where Mr. Hammer and Mr. Powers ate. The label reads sleeping pills. Sleeping pills? It puts you to sleep, Your Honor. The defendant, Mr. Powers, spent the entire afternoon sleeping. He was drugged by Mr. Hammer. Wait a moment. That bottle does raise some suspicions, yes? How convenient for you to have it in your pocket. But there is no proof that Mr. Hammer used it. Your Honor, I have an idea. Ooh, excuse me. Uh, fingerprint the bottle. That's going to take forever. Test powers blood. Whatever. An idea? Very well, let's hear it. I want to check this bottle for fingerprints. If my claim is true, Mr. Hammer's fingerprints should show up on this bottle. <sighs> I suppose you're right. Very well. The court will take position of the bottle. Would all those options been okay? Empty bottle given to the judge. That's That sounds fine. This course will suspend proceedings in the current trial for today. Cody Hagen's testimony has revealed new possibilities in this case. In fact, many things may have happened very differently than we previously thought. He still survives, dude. <gasps> Sorry. My Miss Oldbag may have been the victim, Jack Hammer. Did no one ab- No one verified the body? The scene of the crime was not Studio One, but Studio Two, when those in the trailer did have time to commit murder. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. The homework is to find the answer to the following question. I'm not a detective. Why wouldn't Mr. Hammer steal the steel samurai costume? Also, who killed him, and why? Find the answers for me by tomorrow. What? That's a lot of homework. Pretty sure you have a whole detective force for that. Mr. Edward. Hmm. You will need to reconsider your stance in this case. Above all, you will need to reconsider your suspicion of Mr. Will Powers. Uh, he's the prosecutor. <laughs> you can't tell him to do that. As you say, Your Honor. This trial will be extended until tomorrow. This is the last extension. <gasps> Excuse me. Your Honor, I'd like to plead oopsie daisies. <laughs> you gotta give me a do-over. This court allows only two do-overs. Very well, the court is adjourned. Whew. That was a close one. You were saved by a hair. That was a hair? But that's all that counts. I thought seriously about going home about three times during that trial. <laughs> Me too. <sighs> really? I always got it. <clears throat> To get to get in his voice, really. They remind me what it's like. They both seem so so confident. They're just oozing with it, oozing with confidence. Tell me your secret with my Naruto jacket. Uh, maybe I should take up a career of acting. <laughs> I was ready to pronounce you dead about three times back there. Me too. That's nice. Poor guy, dead. Uh, of course, we're kidding. Are you sure? I wasn't kidding. Yep, no, I wasn't kidding. Now, Mr. Powers. Oh, wait, now, Mr. Powers. We have to make our final investigation. But I promise you, we'll find the true killer by tomorrow's trial. Right, thanks. <laughs> to be continued. Yes, please save. We did it. That was a close one, huh, Mia? I was going to say it's going to be Maya. <clears throat> really? Too bad. I'm sorry. I missed it. See? Shrunk. Everything shrunk. M Maya. So what happened? Well, I think I've got a pretty good idea with who did it. Why did they switch it?
Was that a des design decision from the beginning to have the sister thing and being switching out with the art? Or was that from like an outcry of the fans being like, bring back me or what the fuck? Well, I think I've got a pretty good idea who did it. All I need is a motive and proof. Well, good going, Nick. Under the initial trial system, tomorrow is the last day we have. Initial trial? What's that? That we only get three days. That's a new court system they introduced two or three years ago. I had so many cases in the system, they decided to speed the whole process up. Yeah, so uh, people can get <laughs> convicted for things they didn't do. Just all for the sake of time. Going into the system, trials have to end in three days? Yeah, pretty much. Well, we've no time to waste. Onwards to the studio. I was gonna say she's here. She's not gonna let us in. You're guilty, aren't you? The old windbag sure is quiet today. You know this place is really peaceful like this. She's trying to instigate. Nick, I think your guard's down. Yeah? I bet we could even eat those donuts in the guard station if we wanted. Why is she more scary when she's quiet? She's plotting our murder. <laughs> you eat, you die. Whew. She's alive. <laughs> she's alive. Welcome back. Lee! Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for the 41 months, my dude. Jay Mom Cookie. Oh, I gotta go fill up uh, the sub cookies. Jay Mom Cookie. Oh, there it is. On this cookie? It's a special cookie. Come get it. Come get it. You got it. You got it. There, go get it, my cookie. Say thank you for the cookie. How you doing, my dude? How was uh, the rest of 16? Is she gonna attack me if I. Okay, it's the same stuff. The computer runs the security cameras, huh? It looks like it's been turned off for the day. Interesting. Security guard station. Miss Old Bag must like junk food. There's a mountain of it on the desk here. I can see the computer that runs the security systems. She doesn't care. Interesting. My five minute break in raid. 16 is amazing. Can't play, wait to play more. Uh, how far did you get? I don't want to, I don't want to give any spoilers, obviously. Okay. Think back, Nick, to the day of the murder. Mr. Hammer put on the Steel Samurai costume. And he left from here to go to Studio 2? Right. But why? I wonder if someone called him, like the director or the producer. No, it's because he wanted to pass the camera. Nope. It's because he wanted to go here. Security camera takes photos of everyone who comes through the gate. It doesn't seem to be switched on today. That's sus. I'm bushed. Maybe I should sit down for a bit. This is exactly why I don't get, want to get old either. Oh yeah, we've done this before. Mascot of Global Studios, Mr. Monkey. Okay, I don't think we want to be here. Let's go here. Hello, nurse. Thank you, Lee. Here's your new obsession. Not very far. Got to like the little town. Place thingy. Started the first mission, but okay. Did you meet any significant characters? <laughs> I don't want to spoil anything. Uh. To do two entrance. Hey, Nick. It's Miss Vasquez. Hello. Hello! Hello! <laughs> Maya, you should at least try to be polite. She's not being polite to her! I'm watching the clouds. Whoa, there is... a sign that shouldn't be a sign. I'm watching the clouds. That's all she had to say, apparently. 
Really? Really, that's it? I wanna know. Um, excuse me. Mr. Hammer came here to the day of the murder and... Shh. You just gonna shush us there the whole time? Nope. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I'm watching the cloud. I'm not interested in talking to you. Oh, something, Nick. She's really ticking me off. Oh, dear. It's fucking birds, bro. Um, Mr. Powers wasn't the killer. You don't have to cancel the Steel Samurai. I think I'm tired of the Steel Samurai. You, you did it. <laughs> oh, she could just claimed her. Nick, she did it. She's the killer. My fae blood speaks to me. I know it. I know it. Oh, dear. Um, I was wondering if I, if you could tell me about Mr. Manella. If he wants to talk about that man, you could talk about it in the trailer. By yourself. Oh, dear. Alright. Uh... I want to examine... Nope. Oh, this spiky thing. Some flowers here. Oh, doesn't care. Okay. Let's uh, go into the trailer then. Let's be real, the most important thing. Absolutely. I was the same way. It's like, I actually ended up stopping playing that game. Because I was like, the only thing in this game, I won't spoil one of them. But the only thing in this game I care about is Torgal. And... Uh, the other one's kind of a spoiler. It's But it's a gameplay spoiler, not a story spoiler. But yeah, Torgal was the other one. I'm the assistant cleaning up yesterday. But he still seems pretty messy in here. I guess she was still on a high from getting that rare card she needed. Looks like they were designing a set to use for the Steel Samurai show. They've got some figures for how much the set costs. I can't believe they spend that much money on those sets. The glass is frosted, can't see the outside. As far into October, the dimming daylight makes it feel like winter's coming. <gasps> Excuse me. This is where they had the meeting. There are documents and paper cups scattered around. Someone's huge fucking battery acid or antifreeze nothing in here that could be a clue Just some paper cups and crumpled documents an old movie poster dynamite samurai starring jack hammer i guess mr hammer used to be quite the star samurai summer starring jack hammer this poster is quite old wow it's been years since i saw that show he killed him because he wanted his fame back or something it was one of those typical summer romance stories but it was great Typical summer romance. The samurai on a horse? An old movie poster, The Singing Samurai, starring Jack Hammer. What the hell do samurai sing about? Chopping off heads? Hey, they write fucking poetry. Oh. My. God. That movie was the best. It's about a samurai who sings his way to fame and fortune. Mr. Hammer is a very accomplished singer, you know. Singing samurai stars. What's next? Ninja Ballet? I'd watch it. Have you guys seen uh, the Ninja Parade? Have you guys seen that? Is that from The Onion? I don't remember if that's from what it's from. But you guys, if you haven't seen it, look up the, the news article about the people that show up to not see the Ninja Parade. <laughs> it's so funny. 10,000 people t showed up today to not see the ninjas. That part fucking killed me. Might have ruined it for anyone that was going to check it out, but that's fucking the best part. Go away, you. Someone transported him in the body? Light van for moving staff and equipment around. They kept it in pretty good shape. Looks like it'd run fine. Well, let's go for a drive. Oh, we did this. We did this, too. Huh. Oh, this is different. Something about this feels odd, you know? Can't say that I do. Never mind. 
Thought it was different. Freaking birds. Okay, so there's nothing here. Take that! <laughs> She's not even looking. Okay, hey, you look. Why are you showing that to me, Nick? <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> oh, you don't want it? Hey, Maya, look at this. Okay. Oh, maybe we'll talk to her. Here you go. Um, I was wondering about D. Vasquez, the producer. Oh, the studio bigwigs love her. So she always gets her way. She seems bitter. You not like the producer? Look, the studio people don't want me talking about her, so sorry. Okay. What about Mr. Manella? Can I ask you about Sal Manella, the director? Sal, he's soft. A pushover. Does whatever Vasquez tells him to. He's a sub. He treats him like dirt, but I think he likes it. Oh my god, I called it. Huh? Why would anyone like to be treated like dirt? Oh. You haven't spent enough time on the internet. That doesn't make any sense, does it, Nick? Uh, n no. No, it doesn't, Maya. Are we learning more about Phoenix? About Mr. Hammer. Oh, God. The evil. Ah. I heard about what you said today, cheeky whippersnapper. All the things got reset during, uh, because the computer restarted. You drag his star down from the sky and stomp on it. Calling him a criminal, a thief. I, I, I won't forget this. Uh oh, she's really pissed this time. You listen to me, whippersnapper. My poor old hammer would never do such a thing. Why would he steal powers cost him so he could sneak by me? He would never stoop so low. It's impossible. All right, all right. Calm down. I like to be treated like that. <laughs> uh. Where are we going? I guess they're not filming today either. I didn't want to see them filming just one time. The trial will be over until by tomorrow. You can come see them film later. I guess. This is where you found the bottle of sleeping pills, right? Uh huh. I wonder if there's any other clues lying around. Uh. Ah! No, no, no! Not touching, see? Ah, uh, sorry, pal. Didn't mean to frighten you. Didn't mean to. I almost had a heart attack. <laughs> eh, I guess I can be a little dramatic at times. I suppose it's the actor in me. Dramatic indeed. Ahem. <laughs> anyway, I'm here to examine the plate on that table. Wait, are you looking for sleeping pills? Yeah, pal. Traces thereof. I want the oh shit, I gave him to the the judge. I gave him to the judge for some reason. You're looking for traces of sleeping pills. How? For a thorough examination, I gotta take the plate back to the precinct. But I have the capabilities to make it. But I have the capabilities to make a cursory examination right here. Our science guy gave me some testing solution. Am I gonna do that? This reacts to these these sleeping pills, see? There's traces, it'll change color. That is just a roofie detector. Wow, well, neat! Well, Detective Gumshoe, what are you waiting for? Now, now, everything in due time, pal. Well, the testing solution on the plate changed color, all right. So the food on this plate had been laced with sleeping pills. Looks like it. Found in the employee area on the traces of sleeping pills and large bone. Bam. How about your investigation? To tell the truth, it's a real mess, pal. Some people think we should pursue the case we already have against Powers. And some people think we should switch suspect. What do you think, Detective Gumshoe? Well, pal, I hate to admit it. 
But I'm not sure I buy the case against Mr. Powers anymore. I feel kind of bad for Mr. Edgeworth, though. How is Edgeworth doing, anyway? Mr. Edgeworth is out of control. He was in the waiting room, and he crushed the paper cup with hot, hot coffee in it. Was it McDonald's coffee? Because that's a big deal. There's a difference between hot, hot coffee and McDonald's hot coffee. Whoa. Talk about burns, pal. Oh, the fury of Edgeworth. Yeah, crushing paper cups. Cups? Bottles? Say, whatever. Oh, wait. Say, whatever happened with the empty bottle? Ah, the bottle of sleeping pills? Well, I got some good news for you about that. They found the victim, Jack Hammer's prints on the bottle. Well, that means. Yep. Sounds like the one who put powers to sleep was none other than the victim. So I was right. Sleeping pill bottle onto the court record. Hell yeah. Has his fingerprints. I think we can get the fuck out of here now, right? Uh. You know what? Yeah, I don't think there's gonna be anything new. Let's go into the dressing room just in case. Empty dressing rooms like this are kind of lonely, aren't they? I'm sure Mr. Powers will be back soon. He'll be fine. Yeah. Alright, uh Mr. Powers back. I hope WP can come pick himself up soon. Soon, soon. There's a box for snacks on the table. They must give these to the employees. Mm, it's completely empty. I can feel my eyes burning in the back of my neck. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say she's gonna she's gonna have something to say about that. Looks like someone's sleeping here. Well, we can be pretty sure maybe Pete did take a nap here, like he said. I'm not sure being drugged counts as taking a nap. There's some regular suits in among the costumes here. Those must be his own clothes. Normally cosmetics. This is the yeah, oogie boogie. Oh, she got excited that I remembered the name of it. I didn't mean to skip through that. I thought it was just gonna be the same thing. They always have mirrors like this in the dressing room. I always check my hairdo when I look in the mirror. Oh, not quite a spike as usual, I see. <laughs> okay, they do change it up sometimes. That's nice. It's locked. I guess he doesn't open his window much. It's kind of dusty outside. Let's... GTFO. You got anything else to say? No? Mr. Wright, you did very well again today. Thank you. Ah, oh, thanks. Um, did you not look like you're about to burst into tears? <laughs> well, Nick, you must have really wowed him in there. And you could wait that grin off your face. And could you wipe that grin off? Oh, wait, that's me. And could you wipe that grin off your face? Hey, WP! Only one day left! Let's make it count! Yeah. Though there's... Uh, whoa. That didn't work very well. Though there's not really anything I can do to help. Uh -huh. I'm not really sure what I can do either. Please. This, this is no laughing matter. Could you tell me more about Miss Vasquez? Oh, the producer. She's well respected in the industry. They say she's a genius. A genius? She's been in Global Studios for five years now. Right or wrong, nobody dares tell her different these days. She just carry around a whip? Why is that? Ever since she came on board, we've had nothing but hits. Global Studios wore us on its knees, but she did back up and made it shine. Oh, and wants to sleep with her. And what? N nothing. Forget it. I I've only heard rumors anyhow. She is succubus. What about Manella? Can you tell me just anything about Mr. Manella? Oh, he me a minor straight to video director. Something in his work caught Vasquez's eyes. She brought the steel samurai idea to him. Now everyone knows the name Salmonella. I hear he's pretty much at her beck and call, though. Whenever she says jump, yes, how high, and all that. 
can imagine him being at her beck and call, though I can't imagine him jumping. What about Mr. Hammer? I was wondering about Mr. Hammer. He was a big star back in the day, right? Then he just dropped off the face of the earth. Oh. Yeah, you're right. In fact, he was my role model when I started in the business. He just stopped talking, taking on big roles. That's when he began appearing in little productions at Global. How could he do that? I was really looking forward to the sequel of Samurai Summer. You, you just gave up being a star five years ago. Actually, now that I think about it, that was right when Ms. Vasquez came to the Global. Five years ago. That's interesting. Do they have beef? Hey, we found sleeping pills. Excuse me. Thank you for the showing me that. Whatever it is. <laughs> I wish I could find some way to help you. Sorry. All right. I think we got what we need. Move. I don't get it, Maya. Why would Mr. Hammer steal the samurai costume? Steal samurai costume. What? You mean Mr. Hammer was wearing the costume? Did you? Oh, yeah. Right. We're catching her up. Yeah. Mr. Hammer was the victim, Nick. How did he go through the trouble of stealing it? That's what we have to find out. What happened with the director's testimony? Well, it's pretty clear that the producer and the director were both in the trailer. Oh. Which means that the killer has to be one of them. Really? Why? Because the real scene of this crime was Studio 2, where the trailer is. What? Hmm. Was Maya always this excitable? You have any ideas? Uh, have you noticed anything that might help us? I can't see what's going on when Mia is here. So no, I haven't noticed anything. All right. Maybe we should go to talk to WP. WP Powers, right. We just did that though. We just did that. Uh, maybe tell him that he was drugged? Wait, I thought one of these got updated. Why does it want me to talk to him? Lady, thank you so much for the raid. How you doing? Also, what's up, Moby? I haven't seen you in forever. How you been, dude? Welcome on in. You're playing some Jedi Survivor? Hell yeah, dude. Are you kicking all its butts? Oh, this was new. Have you seen this, Mr. Powers? What's that? I've never seen these Steel Samurais in my life. These are the Steel Samurais that appear at live shows. A fanboy collected all these pictures himself. Seeing things like this really makes me think. I mean, too much of these kids, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think he's going to care about anything else. Died a lot in this game? Uh-oh. Did you get stuck somewhere? Did you get, uh... How far are you? Did you get your colored uh, saber? Wait, did I mean I meant to show him this one? Hey! Regarding the murder weapon... Yes. Is it heavy, that spear? It's pretty hefty, uh... I don't think an average person would be able to sweep the round effectively. Hmm. And that's the spear that broke or something during the morning run through? Oh, yes. I goofed it around, can't you see? I broke that spear. The security lady fixed it for me right away, though. I think we already did this one. Okay, we heard. Okay. There's nothing else to examine in here. Just started streaming again? Oh, heck yeah, dude. What are you playing? Have you played Jedi Survivor right Yeah, the new one? I, I get confused between the the old one and the new one. Um. Oh, 
I thought you were playing the old one. See, I got him confused. No, I haven't played Survivor yet. Thank you for <laughs> clarifying first, by the way. I appreciate you. No, I haven't played it yet. I did see it was on sale recently. And if it wasn't this month, I would have considered picking it up. But since Final Fantasy VII Rebirth comes out at the end of this month, I'm going to be going hard on that one. And Kira gifted us this game. And it was like, or this trilogy, and I was like, that's perfect. Let's just put generous bestow. Again, dude, I have to go, but here's a little Yo, thank you for the for the hundred beans, my dude. And the cookies. And some cookies for you. And thank you for the beans. Thank you so much, my dude. I appreciate you. I hope you have a good night. Um, so you're back on the second one, and I'm finally getting through it. Got you. Okay, I I am up to speed. Yeah, and, it, and so Kira gifted us this, and I was like, oh, perfect. It's like a a perfect time frame of and play through these games and then pick up Rebirth and go hard on that. And then we should be hearing something about Elden Ring DLC soon. We, we kind of, the community thought we were going to hear something about it this month, but we haven't heard anything. So we'll see when that comes out, because that's going to immediately take precedence too. After this, you can play some games that have you got you? Ooh, like what? What do you think? Uh. What if I? How do I go back to the? I need to go back to the court. You got me some older tumor ears. Oh man, those old school ones. What? Am I getting getting some deja vu? Did you already tell me that? I'm getting some deja vu about someone getting tumor to games. I just finished crocheting a cat this morning. At one in the morning for your daughter's teacher. Could you not sleep? Also, that's very kind of you. Also, also, feel free to post pictures like you have. A lot of people enjoy seeing it. She's got nothing to say. Do you care about... This? This old bag, what do you think of this? Hey, not in the mood for Ziggy, thank you very much. What about this? Doesn't care, doesn't care. Alright guys, what did I miss? Maybe we should go talk to I already talked to him. He's got nothing else to say. He doesn't care about these. Or these. <laughs> He's already told us everything. Did I go to Studio One? Yeah, I went to the whole thing, I think. Because I went to the trailer, and then I went to the studio room, and those are both different studios. It's kind of sweet at her school, and today was to be kind to a teacher or faculty member, so she asked me to make her... Oh, that's cute. Maya won't update what she says in the office. So should I go back to the studio? Go over over again in case info flagged with new events. Okay. Yeah, I kind of figured that, uh... I did sing something out of order. Okay, so she doesn't care.
Oh my god, we were just here. Oh, hello. Please don't be the killer. I'll be so upset. What are you doing here? Oh, I was just cleaning up the dressing room. I guess WP won't be using it anymore, so... Oh, yeah, how do you know that? Well, why? Or... Why? But WP's innocent! Yes, and I'm really grateful for all you've done. But... This week is the last episode of the Steel Samurai. What? No! <laughs> Where did you get that information? She's hearing it from them, huh? I was wondering if I could ask you about Mr. Hammer. Yes. On the day of the murder, he went to Studio 2. Uh, huh? I thought he went to Studio 1. He stole the sales... <laughs> he stole the sales samurai's costume, too! What? Why would Mr. Hammer do something like that? Oh. I guess the rumor must be true, then. Oh, here it is. Ruler? Yeah, Miss Vasquez, the producer, has some kind of hold on Hammer. He had some dirt on him. He'd do anything she said, apparently. Oh, snap. Some dirt? What dirt? Dirt. You know, that stuff. Um, I know what dirt means. <laughs> About five years ago, they were filming a movie starring Mr. Hammer. They were using the new studio, Studio 2. Some sort of accident happened during filming. Oh my god. After that, they never used Studio 2 again. They left the film set the way it was, too. That's why that trailer is there. The film set. Was that trailer part of the film set then? Uh huh. Did they fucking build a trailer on top of a dead body? Regardless of who the killer is, Selman Ellen needs to go to jail. Absolutely. Investigate that man's laptop. Just drop the pick. Dude, I love it. It's got the sideways hat. <laughs> That's very clever. Very cute. I love it. Everyone go go look in the art channel. See what lady just made. What do you mean the last steel samurai? I know it's a shock, but nothing can be done to save it now. Whoever really did kill Mr. Hammer also signed the Steel Samurai's death warrant. No! No! Also, I hear the Global Studios is going to change its programming. They're not going to make kids shows anymore. What? Why? I don't know. It's sad, but that's what Global Studios decided. Okay, that's interesting. Why aren't they going to make kids shows anymore? The Studio of Midways don't want the Steel Samurai around anymore. They want to forget all this ever happened. Interesting. They want it quiet, you understand? How can they just do that? What about all the kids who love the Steel Samurai? Okay, I'm sure the kids will be fine. I'll find a new hero to follow. No, that can't be true! Maya's like a diehard fan here. If the program just ends, they'll be heartbroken for sure. Nick, say something! I just don't have nothing to say. Um, yeah. I think evidence rather than, than words is called for here. <laughs> Here, take a look at this. Uh, why am I gonna sh What? Oh. Uh, maybe not. And this is? Fan collected all of th these photographs. Kids love the Steel Samurai. The show shouldn't be canceled just so some adults can save face. I would think you would understand that better than anyone. Right. Okay. Oh wait, that's Maya's voice. Okay. Well, what can I do? Well, for starters, you can tell me something. Tell me what is it that Global Studios is so intent on hiding? Tell me about this accident five years ago. Okay. Could you tell us what happened five years ago? <laughs> well, I can tell you what I heard. Apparently, five years ago, someone died, and it was Hammer's fault. Oh. So they helped cover or get him out of it so she owed him a favor or he owed her a favor i'm for sleepy thank you so much for hanging out lady thank you so much for the raid i appreciate you i hope you have good sleeps appreciate you someone died it was an accident of course 
Anyway, the producer, Miss Vasquez, managed to hush it up. And that's the dirt she had on him, Mr. Hammer. Oh, and that's the dirt she had on Mr. Hammer? And that's why Mr. Hammer would do anything Miss Vasquez asked him to do. If it's an accident. I mean, it sucks. You still go to jail. But now you're going to jail for fucking murder? But it was an accident, right? Why didn't they just make it public? Well, you know what, Mr. Hammer was a big star back then. We were afraid about what would happen to his career if word got out. I see. You know, you know who knows more about this? His old bag. He was here at the studios back then, you know. Oh god, we gotta go talk to her. Thanks, we'll try asking her. If she'll talk. She does like talking about Hammer, though. See you! No. I, I'm back just for a quick second. I don't know where I'm going. What? You're still slinking around? I don't slink, lady. If you like the place so much, why don't you take over for me? The old windbag doesn't look so good. Everybody's doing their darnest to forget Hammer. Who do they think made Global Studios what it is today? Hammer! It's all due to Hammer. All right, tell us all about him. He's starting to froth at the mouth, Nick. Gone. Maybe we should keep a safe distance. Yeah, she's probably rabid. All right, tell us about... Oh. I already did that. Um, I wanted to ask you about five years ago. Ah! I knew it was going to activate demon mode. Who told you? Who did you hear that from? I, uh, uh, um... Nichols! Penny Nichols, I love it. N Nichols? Ah, <laughs> that's funny. Nichols, Nick. Penny Nichols, the assistant we talked to. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh, right. Anyway, we heard about the accident. It was during filming with Jack Hammer. Killed a man, didn't he? Uh, Reaper snappers dredging up dirt on someone's past like that, and the recently departed, no less. I suppose you think this is fun? No. Oh, wait. No, no, no. I'm just doing my job to protect Mr. Powers. And you claim that Hammer stole Powers' costume. You don't expect me to believe that rubbish. Or do you have some kind of proof? Proof that Hammer stole Powers' costume. I have proof. I'm sorry, Miss Old Bag, but I do have proof. I can prove that Mr. Hammer stole Mr. Powers' costume. Uh... The drugs! Mr. Powers ate a T-bone steak for lunch, correct? Well, well, yes. So? This is the plate they used to eat that steak. I'm just carrying around this plate. There are traces of sleeping pill powder on the plate. That's why it's purple. Hmm. Ha! I bet Powers put him it there himself. Even a lightweight like... Oh, and even a lightweight like him must have trouble sleeping sometimes. Except I have proof that Mr. Hammer put the pills in. Did you call him a lightweight? This bottle contained, contained uh, sleeping pills. Mr. Hammer's fingerprints were found on the bottle. Oh. Oh, God, you're creepy. I see. Oh, poor Hammer. You did wrong, Hammer. Rest your soul. It's all bad. Okay. Oh, wait. Okay, you win. I'll talk. I'm tired, see? Tired of holding it all in. It's old bag. You're right. Five years ago, there was an accident. A fatal accident. What's worse, a paparazzi took a photo of it. Oh, is that why you scare everyone away? I guess that kind of makes sense, huh? That photo, well, it caused quite a stir. And guess who made it all better? Vasquez. He has ties to the mafia. Oh. <laughs> that's a fucking... That's a drop. She, she has ties to the mafia. Okay. That is, uh, that is quite interesting. Ties to the mafia. Hold on a second. She has ties to the mafia. Ah. Here we go. He silenced that paparazzi. That was the beginning. After that, she became a force to be reckoned with, with her at the studio. I see. But you have to understand, 
Poor old hammer never been any harm to anyone. Why is it randomly shaking? Miss Old Bag. Hold on a minute. Poor Miss Old Bag. <laughs> Here, take this. Photograph? Motherfucker. Been withholding this this whole time? Wait a second. This is the picture. Is this the trailer in Studio 2? Yeah, and that's the things that are broken. <gasps> that's why they used the... Uh... That's why he used the spear. That's why there was no... Oh, wait, no. Because Hammer was the one that died. I was going to say he was going to try to get himself out of the murder by planting the accident body and framing uh, powers. Hammer was supposed to fight with the bad guy on the top of those stairs there. He pushed the other actor and the man fell onto the flower box fence. Ugh. How did you get this? It was a long time ago. Many blowjobs to get th this picture. I don't feel much like talking about it. I understand. Five-year-old photo added to the court record. Okay. Hey, dude. You won't know anything about it. <laughs> Thank you for showing me the picture of a dead man. No same thing for helping. Can't see with no one. Fuck! I just talked to him. He didn't care, bruh. Maybe. Yep, 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 yep. There, it just ding the five years ago thing. Now, do I show the photo? Fuck! Yeah, everyone's under her thumb. Salmonella likes her. Dude. Maybe it wanted to go confront Vasquez. That's a horrible idea. You don't go convince or my brain blanked the word. You don't go confront. There it is. Confront the suspect. Hey. Stupid. This is this is the absolute thing we should not do. Not even looking. Where? What? How, how does she say where when she's not even looking? Where did you get that? I, uh, well, uh, old bag. Old? She means the security lady, Miss Old Bag Dick. Right. Anyway, I thought <laughs> Phoenix thought she called him old. Man, he is under her spell, isn't he? Miss Vasquez. You hid this incident from the press, didn't you? And you used it to control Mr. Hammer. Wind. The, huh? The weird shaking. What is that? It sounds stronger, don't you think? The wind. What is in your pipe? Your conversation interests me. Let's talk about more inside the trailer. You're gonna kill me in there! Next you inside the trailer! Or is this how you're gonna try to, uh... Convince me to play along. Yeah, confront the suspect with mafia ties. Genius. <laughs> hmm. 
duck. Okay. Hmm. Who came? Did I shit? Uh, I can go around too. Uh oh, never mind. I see what you mean. So then, what was that up that we're talking about? Why did we have to come in here? Why is she so eager to talk all of a sudden? Miss Vasquez. Oops, Miss Vasquez. You were using that accident. You were blackmailing Mr. Howard so you can control him, weren't you? That's why he was so, he was doing kid shows for petty change. Hmm. So I'm bl I'm a blackmailer now. Well, that's what it was, wasn't it? I mean, sure, it was an accident. I used it to drag Mr. Hammer down from his rightful place as a star. Oh, I haven't pulled anyone down from anywhere. Mr. Hammer's career went sour of his own accord. What? You were the cause. You pressured him. Did you think it was just an accident? Excuse me. What is this all about? You keep saying accident, accident. Oh, snap. She got serious. How are you so sure? What do you mean? Or what do you mean? Must I spell everything out for you? Think. What would it be? It wasn't an accident. No. No way. You mean Mr. Hammer did it on purpose? Nah, she's sweating. That is what I mean. Where's your proof? Can you prove it? Hmm. Just think. Would he have let me run... Would he have let me run his life for five years over a mere accident? If you're ties of the Mafia? Absolutely. And I ran him hard, believe you me. Oh boy. What? The scary lady said it was an accident! Oh. Well, she was a big fan of hammers, you see. She jumped on the reporter who brought that photo into the studio. She brushed it out of his hands, she did. Even a few bruises, too. So that's why she had the photo. She's an old fool. Of course, all that reporter would need is the negatives. He could have made a copy. But he didn't. The only copy of that photo is the one you held. Mafia? Have him for making a copy? Give it to me. Now. What? This is valuable evidence! There it is. Boys! <laughs> you cold lady. Oh my god, look at all these chodes. Um, where'd they come out of? Who are they? Professionals. You're good at erasing various things. What do you think? Do you like to be erased? What? See, this is why you don't confront suspects as not a detective with an entourage of police people. That aren't tied with the mod. The mob. The trial ends tomorrow? How unfortunate. It's a shame you'll have to miss it. Tell me why. Why do you want this photograph so badly? This is Mr. Hammer's dirt, no? Why should Dee Vasquez care about it at all? Because she killed him. And... Because she killed him. And Hammer saw... And then, yeah, I don't know. I don't know where the thinking went with that. You know what? This is fine. In the last case, you took a billionaire CEO capable of disappearing people. <laughs> yeah, but these guys look like they disappeared me right now. There's a difference between an immediate threat and a potential threat. I'm sure you'll have plenty of time to think about that for your coin. So long, friends. Boys. Erase away. No! Yo, Gumshoe coming in for the fucking win! Let's go! Is it just him? There's those four dudes right there. Hold it right there! I heard everything, pal! Yo! The redemption arc is real! D Vasquez. You're coming down to the precinct with me, now! And he's not corrupt, I love it. Hmm. Can't you just say, erase him too? Not bad. Very well. It appears this contest will be decided tomorrow then, in court. Y you know you lose. You could just erase him. Okay. 
Are you looking forward to it? Oh boy. There might be four dudes in there, but Gumshoe is a living mountain. <laughs> Look how happy he is. I love this. Hey, you okay, pal? Sorry, I was a little late there with my entrance. I don't get many chances to practice that sort of thing. Oh my god. You were just waiting? Detective Gumshoe! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! I was really scared. Uh, don't mention it, pal. I do my job. Detective Gumshoe! Sorry, it's just... I've wanted to say that, that line ever since I became a detective. <laughs> I fucking love this meathead. I love him. Like, you know he cuts himself shaving every morning. That's why that's there. Every morning, the same cut. Okay, I've got more job to do today. I'm sure we'll run into each other again soon. Please be on the good side of the law this time. Or, I mean, you are on the good side of the law, but the... The good side of the detective being... Well, Nick, looks like we're getting close to the bottom of this. If those other dudes just be like, all right, cool, we're definitely not part of the mob and we're definitely just going to play it cool here. Are we asking who's the bottom? And who's at the bottom? It depends on who's the top to know who's the bottom, Maya. It's very important. D. Vasquez? Himbo's humble too. <laughs> I, dude, I love him. I'm having so much fun with this. Dude. These goofy little characters, you get so attached to them. They did a really good job. Clap, clap. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Wheel Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Get ready for a doozy. Today will be the final day of the trial. If nothing comes of it, well, Wheel Powers is... Convicted of murder, regardless of the evidence. I hope both the prosecution and the defense will be able to present decisive evidence. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth. Your opening statement. In yesterday's session, the defense presented us with a new theory for this case. He claims that the scene of the crime was, in fact, Studio 2. Today, I will call on people present, present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. From their testimonies, the truth will become clear. Excuse me. Mm, very well. Edgeworth seems a bit on edge today. Honestly, all the character writing is so good. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm very, very pleased. Make all your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. Prosecution calls Miss D. Vasquez to the stand. Wow. I'm not swinging, huh? Miss D. Vasquez is the producer who was present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. He could have went on with that. He, there's... You ever put that down? With the witness? Yeah, you just... I was gonna say, you're supposed to ask them that when they're there. You already introduced her. With the witness state her name and occupation. D. Vasquez, I'm producer for the Global Studios. On the day of the murder, we're in the trailer in Studio 2. As everyone here knows, yes. I dislike needless banter. You must pontificate. Do it when I'm not here. Swoon. <clears throat> Very well, Miss Vasquez. Dude, she's like controlling that room. Just be in there and get it. Please give the court your testimony concerning the day of the murder. Nick, I know she did it. Make her pay. Right. If she's guilty, I'll catch her with her pants down, so to speak. I entered the trailer, uh, a little before noon. The meeting began at noon, so it ended at four. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had a Sal take me. Take you, did he? At 2.30, we took a 15-minute break in the meeting. Sal and I ate T-bone steaks on the table in front of the trailer. We found Hammer's body later, when we all went to Studio One. Is it? Is it? Hmm. I have a question about one body of testimony. Really, Mr. Judge? You were fatigued. 
to get shall take you. The judge cut on <laughs> to uh, what I did as well. The van. Mm hmm. There's a van in Studio Two. You couldn't have done that though. The monkey. I had him take me in that. I thought it might be risky to walk, but with the monkey's head toppling over. And I'll use the van to drive Vasquez to Studio One after the meeting in the trailer. I see. Very well, Mr. Wright. You're across the examination. It's the final battle, Nick. Let's do it. You got it, Maya. Flash Mia. I entered the trailer. Okay. Did you? By yourself? Yes. And you didn't stop in the employee area? No. Are you always this curse? She already said she doesn't like... Pointless banter. Yes. In any other timeline or universe? Oh man, I'd be swooning. Oh dear. Meeting being at 12. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did no one leave during the meeting? No one. Come on. Let's talk a bit more about that. The witness did not come here to engage in idle conversation. Stop interrupting the testimony. Ooh. Damn, dude. Oh, man. She just fucking lays her boss around. Puts everyone in her place. Swoon, dude. Same could be said to you, said to you Mr. Edgeworth. Please stop banging on your little desk. It hurts my ears. Dude. Ooh. Ooh, Nelly. She's hot. be a rehearsal afterwards we went to studio one and when exactly was that i've forgotten maybe you could try remembering no the meeting ended at four and the rehearsal was scheduled for five i would think it was between those times you would think come on all he did was state the obvious edworth i was fatigued so i'd tell take me Explain this taking of you in great detail. Except cut him out of it and replace him with me. Go on. Hold on. Red Cell take you. What does that mean? It means just what I said. Red Cell take me in Studio 2 Van. Oh. Oh right. This this game is very aware. At 2.30 we took a 15 minute break in the meeting. And what were you doing during that time? Don't hit your desk. It irritates me. <laughs> he's trying to he's trying to be the top here. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, yeah, Mr. Wright. <laughs> Oops. Oh. Oh, you just outed yourself. You just outed yourself, Edgeward. It was the 15 minute break. Alan, I ate T-bone steaks on the table in front of the op really. You have someone who can verify this? So, Sal. No, I mean someone else. One person is enough. If she committed murder during that break, she wouldn't have had time to eat a T-bone steak. If I had some evidence that proved she didn't eat that steak. <gasps> Mr. What's-His-Name said he could eat too. I kind of wish she did said a little more. It's hard. I think she's pretty used to being the boss. Yeah, she is. I'm sure you'll find some kind of contradiction to what she said somewhere. The meeting began at 12. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had to take me. 2.30, we took a 15-minute break in the e in the meeting. Bell and I ate T-bone steaks on the table in front of the trailer. No, no, no. Go back. Present. Fuck. <laughs> 
like, just start off with this as evidence. Oh shit. Okay. Never mind. I'm gonna do the monkey head. Before noon, began at noon, ended at four. So we went to Studio One. That means you would have had to drive the car there and back, right? Fuck. Which one is it? Oh my god. Why is it so hard? All right, me. That was his cause of death. Oh. game I got nothing again it, I'm I'm not a detective apparently like I'm not seeing anything that I haven't tried <sighs> all right load this but she's spouting off a bunch of times here but nothing here Matches up. This is this is this is no way this is gonna be it. What? Really? That's the T-bone steak with the sleeping pills on it. What would that have to do with them eating T-bone steak? Ah! As I thought. You claim you ate a T-bone steak. But I say you did not! Where's this now, Mr. Wright? Look at this. It's a plate. It's 
plate was on the table in the employee area. As you can see, a large bone has been left behind. I, I, we took the bone and everything with it? Mr. Wright, need I remind you it was a T-bone steak? Exactly my point. Remember, if you will, Ms. Vasquez and Mr. Manila ate at a table outside the trailer. Yet there were no bones left on the plates. Oh. I never put that together. The plates were bare. Ooh, angry mommy. Miss Vazquez? Tell me, how can a person eat a T-bone steak and not leave the bone? Eat the bone. I think I know how. You ate the bone too! <laughs> I want to say that. You ate the bone too! Um, Nick, are you sure? I mean, I love steak, but uh, even I don't eat the bone. <laughs> hey, I don't eat the bone either. Mr. Wright, I too leave the bone. Um, can I try that again? <laughs> I'm, I'm glad they are, they let you do the goofy things without punishing you. That's great. Yeah, I was going to say it's Salmonella would have ate it. You ate a boneless steak. Elementary, my dear Watson, you are eating a boneless steak. Why would you just change the steak? Come on, dude. It's right. Say you are right. What would that prove? I'm right, Your Honor. Nick, remember her testimony? She said she, said she had a T-bone steak. She said bone. Correct. I was testing you. Yeah, sure, Nick. Sorry, can I test? Oh, I was wrong? I think I know how. Oh... I, like, that made sense to me because she, like, left Salmonella behind and he ate them both because I said that earlier, right? But maybe this was saying you didn't eat the steak because you didn't know what steak it was. You didn't eat any steak during that break. You took your steak and threw it somewhere. Like the incinerator. I... Okay. Didn't put that together. All right. I see... What was Miss Vasquez during, doing during her break? Getting taken by Salmonella. That's a horrible picture. Eating the steel samurai. Picking on Salmonella. Okay, I want to say that. Isn't it obvious? He was picking on Salmonella. Mr. Wright. Sometimes this court finds it hard to tell whether you are joking or being serious. Oh? I'm to worry if you remain serious. Yes, Your Honor. I did my best. <laughs> He was meeting with the Steel Samurai! Order. Uh, are, you, are you saying? Yes, Your Honor. Oh, dip, dog. As Mespis Vasquez left the trailer to eat her steak, she ran into the Steel Samurai. And then you did. You killed him with your own hand. Mr. Wright, isn't that a little presumptuous? What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, Wright? Let him claim what he wants. You say I did it? Yes. Fascinating. And here I was worrying that today would be as boring as all the rest. Oh my god, I love her. I I'll switch to her team. I, I, sign me up. Very well. Let us have a battle of wits, you and I. Oh my god, yes please. Need a Vasquez. Good luck, Nick! Let's see. What was the murder weapon again? Ah oh, yes, the samurai spear. Yes? I am, as you see, a woman of petite stature. Yeah, but your mob boys, they seem pretty big. How could I possibly use that heavy spear as a weapon? Um... You didn't have to, because... It was the body of the dude that fell on... The flower thing. I'm, I'm convinced that's significant. What was that? Tie you up? She would absolutely. Uh... 
she gives more like have you seen uh sherlock with the cumber bottom uh she gives evil sinister irene adler vibes and i'm here for it <clears throat> uh how can i possibly use that heavy spear as a weapon couldn't could you I think you would have a great deal of difficulty using that as a weapon. Pretty much anyone would. Huh. You see? Yes. However, that has no bearing on this case. Meaning? The samurai spear was not the murder weapon. Blam! If you didn't make those faces while you were being questioned, lady. Where's the meaning of this? The spear was found lying next to the victim's body. There was no blood on it or the body. Also, the spear was taped up. I have proof, Your Honor. I can prove that the samurai spear was not used in the murder weapon. Na -na -na -na. I wonder if we get to use that one, but I'm gonna use this. Fuck. Wrong, Mr. Wright. I haven't said anything yet. I know you well enough right now to know when you're going to present the wrong evidence. <laughs> Oof. I can say it too with my fey blood. Okay, okay, I picked the wrong evidence. Enough with the sensing. That was funny. Right, here's the evidence, Your Honor. That was funny. I present my proof. The so-called murder weapon. But that is the murder weapon. Not so fast. Not so fast! Remember that the spear broke during the morning action scene run-through? Someone fixed the spear. It was the secretary lady. She fixed it with duct tape. Now tell me, how is it possible for someone to stab a man who's wearing a thick costume with this through the chest? Some super duct tape. Order, order. Mr. Wright, what are you diving at? Into your heart, sir. Think about what you're... Oh my god, I love her! Silence. I'm the one testifying here and I will be heard. Oh my god, she's telling her fucking... She's telling her defense to shut the fuck up. She's like, I'm taking control of this bus. Hold on, stop bitching. Don't complain about my driving. <laughs> are you quite sane? Are you even aware of what... Oh wait, are you even aware of what you're saying? If the samurai spear was not the murder weapon, and pray tell what was. What was Hammer killed? Well, Mr. Wright, can you tell us what happened? Tell us what weapon was used to kill Mr. Hammer? I can tell you. Would I make a claim like that if I couldn't tell you what the weapon was? Yes. I'm afraid your confidence can sometimes be unfounded, Mr. Wright. Very well. Let's see this murder weapon then. The thing I showed you a second ago. Look at this photo. W what is this? Why, that's Jack Hammer standing at the top of the stairs. Order! Order! If I cannot have order, this trial will be suspended. You think that's what the prosecution will be going for? It's like, oh my god. Create chaos, so it suspends it. Mr. Wright, what is the meeting? What is this all about? Photograph is from five years ago. There was an unfortunate accident at Global Studios. This is a photo of that very accident. Not a word of this was leaked to the outside. It was a close-kept secret at the studios. What does this have to do with the code case? Mr. Edgeworth, you still can't see it? See the fallen man in this photo. See how the fence posts pierce him through the chest? What are you saying? Yes. What happened five years ago? It's happened again! Just trying to do the same thing over and over again? Not too smart. Just to write. Continue. Although, I suppose if you're like, I got away with one, might as well get away with another. It's 2.30 p.m. on the day of the murder. Steve Vasquez meets Jack Hammer outside of the Studio 2 trailer. And she did it. He pushed Mr. Hammer off the stairs onto the fence. 
But why was he dressed up as a steel samurai? Just like Mr. Hammer had done himself five years ago. So whether you, she did it on purpose or by accident, I cannot say. In, in other words, the victim, Mr. Hammer, he died in the same way that he caused another man to die. Five years ago. Precisely. Ironic, isn't it? <laughs> Very creative, Mr. Wright. I could use a man like you on my script writing stuff. You deny that what I say is true? Mr. Wright. Say, for the sake of argument that Hammer died at the trailers, you say? The body was found in Studio One, was it not? In the evil magistrate's costume, no less. He is then claiming that I carried the body to Studio One and returned to the tra trailer all in the space. Fifteen minute break. How could I have disposed of the body? The truck? The break in the meeting at the trailer lasted fifteen minutes from 2.30 to 2.45. The Jack Hammer had been pushed off the stairs to his death and carried to Studio One and placed inside his costume. There wasn't enough time. Hmm. Indeed. Well, Mr. Wright. How could she have dealt with the body? I bet she can move it. She had another way. She's got a bunch of mafiosos. What if she had another way to carry the body other than with her own hands? For instance, that van you mentioned earlier, although the monkey head would have fell. <gasps> they knocked the monkey head over by running into it. Actually, for that matter, there was no need for her to do the deed in 15 minutes. There was a way for you to carry the body. Interesting. Let's hear it then. Mr. Wright, he shows how she carried the body. Da -da -da -da. It even says for carrying people. Miss Vasquez, you carried the body to Studio One. And you used the studio van to do it. Yes, he shocked and enamored at my brilliant deductions. You're calling your testimony. It was to be a rehearsal afterwards we went to Studio One. I was fatigued and I had Sal take me. There's a van there, right? I had Sal drive me. Use the van to carry the body to Studio One. Then, before everyone else got there, you put the body in the Magistrate costume. Objection! Shut up, you! I'm lawyering! Hold on, right? Don't forget it was Sal Manella that drove the van. Are you suggesting that Mr. Manella was a conspirator? Absolutely! Of course, Salmonella has, has to have been a conspirator. The body had to be placed in the van and put into the costume. There's no way Miss Vasquez could have done that alone. Also, don't forget that they had to dispose of the Steel Samurai costume. They had to, because it was covered in Mr. Hammer's blood. They probably burned it in that small incinerator. That must have took forever. Well, Miss Vasquez, shall I continue? Also, why weren't the cops like, this incinerator has been recently used. There's shit in it. No need. It's smarter than you look, Mr. Wright. I lose. You win. It was fun. What? I win? What is happening? Um... So what happens next? Don't <laughs> question me. Do you have anything to say? What do you what would you like me to say? Good boy. Just once. Huh? I lost? Something like that? You already said that. I just said that. Wait, so you mean Steve Vasquez, so it was you! You killed Jack Hammer. the fuck is happening? Who can say? Huh? Are you sure I did? Mr. Wright, you just engaged in a battle of wits. And the result of that battle, you proved the possibility that I murdered Hammer. Right? But that is only a possibility. Proof is another thing altogether. You lack decisive proof, Mr. Wright. 
What? 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 Murder! Dredge, where's your thoughts? Uh, she's right. <laughs> oh. Uh, I'm equally confused, Your Honor. Uh, of course, it's as the witness says. Um, let me recompose myself. Certainly, it does seem very likely she did it. But, uh, there's no proof. Interesting for you to admit that out loud. Edgeworth isn't sure. Well, I came here as a witness today. If you have no more questions, I'll be leaving. What do I do now? She's toying with her food and she's about to fucking eat. Oh, absolutely. This is funny. Phoenix is always about re or against retestifying, but he's telling her to do it now. I I'd like you to testify again. That's right. Again? Don't you say anything, Judge. You allow it all the time. I don't want to give up, Mr. Wright. Think about it. Even if I were to testify again, what's the point? I can only say what I said before. The truth, Mr. Wright. I've already said all there is to say. What would happen if I said it again? Uh... You'd ask the same questions, get the same answers. A waste of time. I love her, dude. Ugh. <sighs> oh, this isn't good for my sanity. Damn. Damn! Come so far only to fail. Clap. As it seems there are no further questions, I would like to end the cause examination of witness Miss Vasquez. Yeah, I was gonna say that's word. He said something, holy shit. Yes, Mr. Edgeworth. I was hoping to come up with a question while I was objecting, Your Honor. <laughs> Sick shit. My hand slapped the table too soon. I didn't. I see. Very well. What is happening? Your Honor, I request that the witness testify again. What is happening? You are the prosecutor, are you not? Why are you badgering me? I'm your witness. I... I just want to hear your testimony again. Oh, that, that's what that's what he's really saying. I I just want to hear your testimony again. Does this make any sense to you, Your Honor? I don't see what we have anything to gain by repeating the last several minutes. Mr. Edgeworth, I too see little point in making Miss Vasquez repeat herself. What exactly did you want her to testify about? Hmm. Well, uh, yes. Uh, indeed. Verily, I say. Ergo, are you okay? I want to hear about what happened after they found the body. After they found the body? Very well. Witness will testify to the court concerning this matter. Nick! What did Edgeworth? Yeah, why did he? Who knows? Oh, please. Please be that you have always been on the side of justice. Oh, that's what I hoped from the beginning. You probably realize she did it too. But, but, wasn't he the one that said he always gets a guilty verdict? Yeah, that part. Hopefully that part got scrubbed out of his brain. Maybe he's like you, Maya. He has two Parsons in his brain. You know, it's not that far-fetched. If there's one of you, there's multiple of you. Oops, I didn't mean to skip that. Before I read it, my, my finger spasmed. Tell me someone what he said. Or what she said. Edgeworth. Oh, she's going to testify again. After finding the body. I was with Fallon, Fallon Nolenbag, security lady, when we found the body. The assistants were there, too. Only Powers was absent. There's no blood anywhere to be found. I immediately called the police, and Powers showed up. The security lady, old bag, was quite agitated. Trying to get Powers saying he did it. I asked to be left out of the proceedings. Of course you did. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. Then I went home. This part shows Edgeworth is in a better light. He desires just... Oh, perfect. That makes me happy. Hmm. I see no issues raised by this testimony. It's a right. A cross-examination. Okay, Nick. We're close. Real close. She may be acting tough now. But if you put her on the spot, she's sure to falter. Find the key you need and twist the truth out of her, Nick. Oh, I have the key. And I'll do some twisting. 
Don't you worry, Maya. Right. Uh, right. What's this sound on the bag of security lady we found the body? What time was that? We were to meet at five for the rehearsal. I'd say it was then. When, ex when exactly did you and Mr. Manella arrive at the studio? About ten minutes before. I wasn't stuffing any bodies into costumes, mind you. Mmm. Yeah, press harder. Where were the other employees when you got to the studio? They weren't there either. Well? Then you could have put Hammer in the costume with Salmonella's help. Oh. Can I just say? Can I just say I wasn't stuffing any bodies into costumes? Did you try to listen to what other people are saying, boy? Oh, there's part... It's part where they're just waiting for that good! Just waiting for that good, it's important. But boy... The witness will continue her testimony. The assistant was there too. Only Powers was absent. Mr. Powers was taking a nap, correct? So he's... So he said. Did no one go to call him? Remember. Remember what? There was a dead body lying in front of us. Did you expect me to be calm? You certainly seem calm enough when I accuse you of murder. Press harder! Wait a second. Wouldn't that be the other way around? The other way around? You discovered a murdered body and one person was missing, right? Wouldn't you normally go looking for the missing person? Hmm. I have to agree with the defense on this one. Well, Miss Vasquez? Hmm. Logically speaking, perhaps. No one there was thinking very logically, I assure you. Also, without his steel samurai costume, Powers doesn't really stand out. We often left him on the bus when shooting at location. No one noticed he was missing. I was just gonna say, poor Powers. Poor Powers. Hmm. Well, I suppose that explains that. Very merry, Miss Vasquez. Let me continue. I immediately called the police, then Powers showed up. What was everyone else doing at that time? No one said a thing. It was silent. Completely silent. I mean... We stood there until Powers finally arrived at the scene. What? Oh, that's her impersonating him. Sorry. Sorry I'm late. And silence. Dead silence. <laughs> silence. <laughs> they had a go with the silence thing. <laughs> and, uh... Cut out the music. That was great. Well played. Hey, Nick! Why is everyone so quiet? Someone should do something to lighten things up. I'll make a joke. Don't worry. Security lady old bag was quite agitated, pointing at power, saying he did it. Old bag. Security lady. Why did the security lady think Powers had done it? He said because she saw him going through for the studio. Right. Steel Samurai. That's harder. Did the detective arrest Mr. Powers based solely on the security lady's word? Perhaps not. He seemed to have also given the detective that photograph. Of course, I heard all this after the fact. That photograph. Meaning the one taken by the security camera. He's not known for exhibiting the best sense of judgment when it comes to Hammer. Hmm. I don't think there's anything in that I can use. I asked to be left out of the proceedings. You asked to be left out? Yes. Seems that everyone else was questioned. And I'm not really fond of that sort of thing. And yet you hear you are? You can't just decide who the police will and will, won't question. Yeah, I, I'm like leader of the mafia. I can do what I want. Thankfully, the studio thinks otherwise. They were nice enough to understand that since we were in a meeting, there was no way we could have been involved. Thus, they covered for us. Covered for you? Or covered it up for you? There must have been a lot of riding on it. A lot riding on it with all those bigwigs at the meeting. I'm sure her professionals helped convince everyone they didn't require questioning. 
I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. Script and your direction notes? Yes, they're quite valuable. I wouldn't, wouldn't do to have them stolen. Uh, I guess not. Press harder. Wait a second. I thought you came to the Studio One for a rehearsal. Why didn't you bring your script and notes? Ooh. Well, I was under the impression that we wouldn't be able to rehearse anything. Why? It was a murder, after all. Who can think of rehearsing after that? Oh, yeah, I guess. Hmm. Very well, Miss Vasquez. Please continue. Yes, sir. Your, your honor. I have an objection to the witness's last statement. Yo, get him! Dude, she's getting bullied by two dudes. <gasps> two dudes, one dude. Two, du two dudes, one mafioso. Ma mafiosa? Huh? <laughs> I think Ms. Vasquez said she didn't bring the script because there wouldn't be a rehearsal. But you see what that means? She knew he was already dead. She would have known about the murder before going to Studio One. That's what I wanted to object to. Order. Order. Mr. Edgeworth, this is your client. <laughs> Whatever you just said is a reasonable observation. However, I find it hard to understand why the prosecution would make such a move. Or are you thinking of a career change to defense? I want to be on Phoenix's side. His left side, if you know what I mean. Is it their left side? I don't fucking know. I appreciate the concern, Your Honor. I will stand by my statement, however, regardless of how the world sees my role here. Now, Miss Vasquez, do you have an explanation? I'm, uh, my brain, Phoenix is fangirling right now. I can't believe Edwards is helping me! So the prosecution is in cahoots with the defense. What kind of court is this? Mafiosa! You got nothing to say. No matter. I think you you misunderstood me. I had a perfect game really good reason to bleed. There would be no rehearsal. Let me try to think of one quickly while I stun the court. Hmm. Very well, the witness will change your testimony to reflect this reason. Fuck! I knew that hammer was injured and couldn't do any action scenes, so I left them behind. How did you know about the injury? How did I know? So, he told me. Sal, the director? Hmm. You have to find something to peg. Peg this on her, or she can peg me? You got you got the roles reversed, Mia. That's not how that worked. You have to find something to peg this on her. Everything we've done till now will have been wasted. I believe in you, Nick. Go get him. I was with Sal, an old bag, security lady, when we found the body. Oh crap, we started over. Okay. Oh, I, he actually said something different there. Uh, the system was there too, only Powers was absent, immediately called the police, the Powers showed up. Security lady, old bag, was quite agitated, pointing at Powers. I asked. As we left out of the proceedings, I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. A new hammer was injured and couldn't do any action scenes, so I left them behind. gonna be this it is you knew that hammers or hammer was injured oh no powers was injured don't you think that's a little funny i mean it was the steel samurai who was injured it was will powers what got him mr right explain yourself dude you should not be there. He has, like, torture memory problems. Yes. Mr. Hammer is dragging his leg in this photo. That's because he was pretending to be Mr. Powers. 
pretending. One person was injured in the run through that morning. The person was Mr. Powers, not Mr. Hammer. Now, why did you think it was Mr. Hammer who was injured? Blam! I, I already said. The sound told me. But that's right. He must have gotten it wrong. I think not. Mr. Manella was at the run through that morning. You would have known it was Mr. Powers who was injured. He saw it happen. Why would he tell you the wrong person? It's Vasquez. You heard Manella wrong. <laughs> you must have heard Mr. Manella wrong. Even though he said Mr. Powers was injured. He thought he was talking about Mr. Hammer. Now that you mentioned it. Yes, I believe you're right. I'm sure that's what happened. Yeah! Wait. Nick, you're supposed to be putting her on the spot and helping her out! <laughs> Shit! Oh, I didn't know it would actually punish me. Alright, I kind of talked myself out of that one, didn't I? Quick, start over! It's Vasquez! Just scratch that from the record. Nobody heard that. Really? That's what's going to happen? Actually, you didn't hear anything from Mr. Manella. You saw Mr. Hammer limping with your own eyes. Yes, but isn't it Mr. Powers who was injured? Yes, but remember, Mr. Hammer was dragging his leg too. He was pretending to be Mr. He was pretending to be Mr. Powers. Ah! And when he was doing this, well, it would have, have, it would have had to been after he put on the Steel Samurai costume and went to Studio Two, where he was murdered. Exactly. It's Vasquez. You met him, didn't you? You saw the Steel Samurai limping. And Mr. Hammer was in the Steel Samurai suit. And that's why you were confused. That's why you thought it was Mr. Hammer who had been injured that morning. Order! Order! I will have order! Witness. Can you refute this claim? <laughs> Ooh, mommy's getting pressed. Yeah, yeah, let's see you sneak out of this one, Vasquez. Boys, do some erasing. Very well. I have a question for you. Why are the real killers always so persistent? Yo, the super music. Why in the world would I want Mr. Hammer dead? Yes, he'd fallen on hard times, but he was a star. I had nothing to gain from his his death. Nothing. I think I'm doing... <laughs> I started doing Power's voice with her voice. Whoops. Hmm. Yes, you would need a motive. Why would she have killed the victim? If there's a reason, it's unclear to this court. Does the defense have anything to say on the matter? In other words, can you prove she had motive? <gasps> of course I can prove it! Oh. That was a big... That's a big neck pop, sorry. I have proof and I'll show it to you. I present to the court evidence as to Miss Vasquez's motive for this murder. I don't actually think I have motive. This, this one. Shit. Oh, it's right! This is my proof. This is the photo from before. This is the photo from before. The photo reveals the motive in this murder. I'm right, aren't I, Miss Vasquez? <laughs> Five years ago, Mr. Hammer was in the height of his fame. Lonnie! Oh, Lonnie. You've missed some dommy mommy vibes, dude. You have missed out. Get a cookie. Get a cookie! Get a... Get a... She's going deaf, y'all. Get a... Cookie! Hey! Want a cookie! I see your ears moving. Come and get this... There you go. Cookie for Lonnie. Cookie for Lonnie. There you go. Come get it. Oh, I said thank you for the cookie. Five years ago, Mr. Hammer was at the height of his fame. With the Vasquez's help, a terrible accident was swept under the carpet. Ladies and gentlemen, the case currently up for trial. It began on the day five years ago. All 
I figured you would get upset if I didn't tell you about any dummy mommy vibes. Come on, man. Ironically enough, that incident accident precipitated Mr. Hammer's fall. His fall from stardom. Skilled weighed down. Weighed him down, no doubt. However, you, D. Vasquez, used Mr. Hammer. You made him work for you for petty change. Hmm. Bringing us to the present day, Mr. Hammer's last role as the evil magistrate. Yes, undoubtedly. It was a constant source of shame for the X-Star. Hmm. One moment, Mr. Wright. You're talking about motives here, yet you have only talked about Mr. Hammer. It almost seems as if... As if it was Mr. Hammer who had killed D. Vasquez, not the other way around. What motive would Miss Vasquez have? Yes, that's right. According to what you, have, what you say, I would have had no reason to kill Hammer. It was a good source of income for me. And I never get rid of useful men. It's a policy of mine. There you go. I'm reading a book like that right now. <laughs> oh my god! Chat is going full bonk mode. I'm reading... She was for, surrounded by four men too. I'm reading a book right like that right now. Oh my god. You're efficient tonight? Jeez. You're smut books. Mr. Ray, please explain Miss Vasquez's motive for murder. Uh... Shit. Okay. Allow me to present to the court evidence proving Miss Vasquez's mot motive. Why would she want to kill him? This is like the only thing I have. Cause he was, this is, this can't be it. No way. Cause he was trying to. No way, this can't be right. Can we have a channel for... Channel for what? Discord book club? Not if it's smut! That goes in the NSFF... Or NSFW category, are you kidding me? I suppose we could rename the, um... The shows and movies one. We can include books. That makes sense, right? This is my proof. And this tells us why Miss Vasquez wanted to kill Mr. Hammer. I say all it proves is that the defense attorney has completely lost his marbles. <laughs> Mr. Wright, the court requests that you find your marbles immediately. <laughs> and I'm afraid I have to penalize you for this. A support sign. Fuck! Okay, that wasn't it. The music cut out, so I thought I was right. Nick, we're so close. Think this one through, please. Mr. Wright, I'll ask you again. Please explain Ms. Vasquez's motive for murder. I actually don't know. I saved her. I read other books too. <laughs> Bold of you to tell me I know how to read. I don't. I'm going to present there. It wouldn't be this. She doesn't really have a motive. I'm only pills right now because I don't need to retain any support. Oh, didn't need to. Re yeah, that makes sense. I've got too much school to retain anything. That makes sense.
All right. What have I missed? Four series on hold because I want to get time to it. Yeah, because if, it, if it's important, you don't want to miss any story stuff, right? Guys, I... Now, this is the last day of trial, so we have to figure it out today. But I feel like we haven't learned anything that would be motive for her to want him dead. And why would she call, why would she call Hammer to the trailer, but have him wearing the Steel Samurai costume? That makes no sense. I don't know. She had no motive. She had no motive, Your Honor. What is that now? It was Mr. Hammer who was out for blood. Okay, it makes sense that she had no motive. All Miss Vasquez did was push him off the stairs in self-defense. What? What's that now? simple. Mr. Hammer was intending to kill Ms. Vasquez. What the fuck? I'm gonna have to go see a chiropractor after all this whiplash. What? What? Your Honor. Jack Hammer drugged Mr. Powers with sleeping pills. Jack Hammer snuck into the dressing room and stole the steel... Steel Samurai costume. Jack Hammer wore the costume to fool the security lady into thinking it was powers. Wow, what a dick. Jack Hammer made his way to the trailer. And for what purpose, you ask? To kill D. Vasquez, who had so cruelly taken advantage of him all those years. Why wouldn't you just say that it was in self defense then? What the fuck? This is so confusing. Dude, yeah, this this is a one-up of M. Night, M. Night Shyamalan wishes he could get on this level. But he did do it, didn't you? Yes, I am guilty. It was me. Someone call an ambulance. There's blood everywhere. We're too late. Ah, Miss Vasquez. Okay, these are all just voices. What what happened here? Annual fell. Oh, this is five years ago. Annual fell from the trailer stairs. Oh my god. Manuel, Manuel. Miss Vasquez, please try to remain calm. Oh no! How could this have? How could this? It was an accident. Mr. Hammer was doing an action scene and. No, Manuel, Manuel, don't touch him. Ms. Vasquez, I, I, I can't do the voices. Don't touch him, Ms. Vasquez, because it doesn't. We don't know who's using the voices. No, please, please don't die, please. Congratulations, Mr. Wright. I lose again. She admitted it. Admitted to killing him earlier, and we had to get her to admit it again. He's too to weird. Where's D's Vaz- where's D's Vasquez? In the waiting lobby- oh wait. In the waiting lobby, your honor. As calm and collected as ever. Crazy. Mr. Wright. Yes, your honor. 
It appears you have brought up about yet another miracle. I thank you, Your Honor. I think not, Your Honor. Bill Powers was innocent. That he should be found so is only natural, not a miracle. Yes, yes, you're right. Very well. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, not guilty. We did it! Look how tall he is. I didn't realize the effect was on that whole time. That is all. The court is adjourned. What just happened? Why wouldn't she just... <sighs> it would have been so much easier just to have been like, it was self-defense. It would have been so much easier. What? Now she's, now she's going away for murder. Instead of being like, manslaughter from self-defense. I, I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. I'm just glad you're okay. Yes, but it's sad. I know that Mr. Hammer stole my costume. It's bad enough that he wanted to kill Miss Vasquez. But to think that he tried to frame me for the murder, it makes me sad. Is sad? Tell me why, Mr. Wright. Uh-huh. Tell me. Why did Mr. Hammer want to blame me? To get out of it? Well, this is what I think. Mr. Hammer wanted to put the blame on you because people love you. Shit, do I have evidence? Because you were... Okay, it was right. It's because you're the Steel Samurai. Because I was the Steel Samurai? Mr. Hammer was a big star once, but he was reduced to acting in a kid's show and as the villain to boot. Kids love the Steel Samurai, and so he hated you. I... I think I understand. He... he could have just told me. I like this guy. He's a very gentle behemoth. I would have changed places with him any time. I think you're missing the point. He... he's... he's up there with, uh... He, he's he's a few steps above Gumshoe in terms of the himbo. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just glad it's all over. So am I. So am I. Congratulations, WP! Oh, oh. <laughs> Thanks to you, I'll be able to do the Steel Samurai outfit, outfit once more. Got to make it all over again. I can't wait to get back into this sweaty costume and... Oh, it's over. Oh. Is something wrong? No, of, no, of course not. Uh, no, 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 choice. Hello. Staring contest. You, you say something first. Say something right. I'm not good at small talk. Huh? What? Um. That was too bad for Edgeworth. Or, th that was too bad, Edgeworth. <laughs> you don't waste any time floating, do you? No, I... I really want to thank you. Azkaz could have gotten away if you hadn't stepped in. Uh, uh, pleased to meet you. I'm Powers. Uh, er, Edgeworth. I'm a big fan of your work, Mr. Powers. Liar! Wait, you, he might be. Right. I must say, I had expected to meet you again after... I hadn't expected to meet you again after all these years. Years? Oh, right. I knew him before. Meet again! However, in retrospect, it would have been better if we had not met. My heart is torn, you see. Thanks to you, I am saddled with unnecessary... feelings. And a throbbing in my pants. Unnecessary feelings? Yes. Unease and uncertainty. Aren't those kind of an kind of necessary? They only serve to get in my way. You listen to me, Phoenix Wright. I want you in my bed by sundown. Don't ever show your face in front of me again. That's what I came here to tell you. Okay. He's got feelings for me and he's not dealing with it well. Uh um boy. 
Mr. Wright. Was that guy your friend? What? Friends? As if... The rivals... Rivals, right, Nick? Now we are. I guess. Oh, how do you get the feeling I'm missing something? Because, uh... We're about to be boyfriends. Come on, Nick. Tell me, what's the big deal with you and Edgeworth? <sighs> Gonna do some engine later. Just you wait. This is just a boy's love novel now. <laughs> yeah, right? Consider the curtain closed on another trial. I caused quite a stir by revealing that accident from five years ago. It was the talk of the town. Thankfully, Global Studios rethought its programming change. They went back to making kids shows again. Pink Princess. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, for Maya. Nick! This is it! The new show starts today. You're going to watch it with me, right? I'll admit, I was kind of surprised. I didn't think they'd seriously go through with it. You have to buy trading cards too, okay? You have to trade with Cody and the assistant. I ain't fine. I'll do it. Isn't it great that WP gets to play the lead again? I wonder if they'll show the real, his real face this time. I don't know. I don't think the world is ready for that, for the real Will Powers. I hope he's the pink princess. We did it! We finished it! Oh man, we finished like all these chapters at like the perfect time. We unlocked another one! A brand new episode has been added. Oh my god. How many? Ah! Oops. Save. Back. Leave. Leave, 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 leave. It doesn't let us leave immediately. Okay. I wanted to see what the title of it was. Ah! It's doing things. Stop. Blur it out. No one gets to see nothing. Stop. Wait, what if I... If I unfocus the game, does it stop? I hear the music. Turn about goodbyes, is that what it's called? I think it actually might have... Nope, it didn't. No! No one read it! No! Okay, I'm... Alt it for. I was seeing things and I didn't want to see it. No spoilers! No spoilerinos. All right, my friends. <sighs> what a fucking wild ride that one was. She could have just said it was self-defense and that we wouldn't have gone through that whole thing. Oh. And this, this game is just... There's definitely some uh, adult jokes in it, that's for sure. And it, implications. And I'm here for it. It's kind of funny. I love it. Uh, Kira, thank you so much for this game. I, I don't know if, if I thank you enough or if I have much in general, <laughs> but I, I'm very much enjoying this game. It, like, even all the reading and the, the characters and all that stuff and the voices, like, I thought that was going to get grading or something, but the characters are just so great that it's just fun. And then you get sucked in and you get all excited for goofy stuff happening. It's great. Um, I have no idea of the fucking roller coaster, but does it get worse? Oh my god, I'm getting bad. Like you guys saw, like I couldn't put two and two together. I think there, I, I should not be a detective. Um, I'm excited to play more. I do have to go to the office, so uh, my work schedule changed unfortunately. So we'll see how my body reacts uh, to all that. Uh, that with the the med changes and stuff too. So I might take. Uh, a couple, every time, every so often, days off work, or, um, off stream, just to try to get my energy back, kind of thing. Uh, but, obviously, I'll post in the Discord and stuff what happens, but the plan is, continue playing tomorrow. I don't know how many more chapters there are. Um, I kind of thought we would be done with, or I, I thought we were originally done with the first days of training. We're not even done through the first one. So, I don't know how long the second one is going to be, and I hope it doesn't run into. I, I don't think it's going to be two weeks long. Um, because that that's when we run into Final Fantasy VII Rebirth time. So I'm looking forward to that. Hope you guys are too. We have a whole event set up for it um, in the Discord. Uh, a lot of it is the term. I don't know if it'll be streaming in the day on Thursday. Uh, I do have, I did take the day off. But that's the day the game is released. And since I ordered the collector's edition, it has to be delivered. 
So it kind of depends on when that actually gets to me. So uh, if you guys don't have the notif notifications turned on or whatever, turn them on and you'll be notified when I go live. Uh, but we're going to be unboxing the collector's edition live on stream. And then we're going to jump right into it. And I took the next day off Friday as well. So uh, I can play as long as I want. Uh, of course, the VODs and stuff will be up on Twitch for as long as they can be. And then they'll eventually be moved over to YouTube. So don't feel bad if you got to you gotta dip out and uh, you have other prior arrangements like, like real life and stuff. Um, if you feel bad about missing out and you want to catch up, they'll be there. So don't worry about it. But uh, game one has five chapters. Game two is four chapters. Game three is five chapters. So are we on chapter four? Did we just finish chapter four? I think we finished chapter four. Something. I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, let's see. Can we go send some love off to someone? Lee said, well, he said they were uh, doing a raid. We did raid lead yesterday, though. I, I, I know I shouldn't worry, especially when it's like Lee. He's more than happy to have us raid him uh, all the time and wouldn't feel goofy but i feel goofy rating the same people like two days in a row unless something crazy significant shows up yo kale is playing whoa is there a new does anyone know if there's a new cfds update or something because carl is playing cfds and so is kale and they don't know each other that's kind of cool what's snacko maybe my best life as a cat Okami is playing a cat game. Oh, it's like, it's like a ball break. Tiny rogues. Dungeons and dragons. Tim's going hard in Minecraft. Got a good mage. He's playing Baldur's Gate 3. 3? Is Carl playing with Toster? Doesn't look like it. And Toster's been streaming a lot lately, which makes me really happy. You know what? Let's go read Kale. We haven't read Kale in a minute. And he's brought us love over here anytime. He's super cool, super chill dude. He's playing uh some ooh, uh, should probably mute. He's playing some uh Sea of Thieves. So if you guys want to stick around for the raid. I would greatly appreciate it. Let's go give some love to a fellow streamer. Say hey or something. There's uh, messages out there or sub messages. Feel free to copy them or copy the other message. Use whatever emotes you have available to you to uh, bring forth the raid. But thank you guys so much for being here. Remember to spay and neuter your pets. Adopt don't shop. Donate to rescue. We can afford it. Or we'll open up your house because of the possibility of fostering. That is a very rewarding experience and helps those animals and rescue out that are very much in need. Anyways, I invasive. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Thank you so much for letting me be a streamer tonight. I heavily appreciate it. And I'll catch you all next time. See ya.